Hello everybody, it's Mr. Second Amendment, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Um, some of you know, but I actually just got out of the Army after five years active duty. I was an infantryman in a dismounted reconnaissance Wait. troop as part of 10th Mountain Division. And definitely had some interesting times. Got to do the Afghan thing, the Iraq thing, the border mission thing, and some interesting stuff in schools on the side. Definitely had some awesome times for well, the most part. Uh, definitely made some lifelong friends. And for those interested, I could do a video about um, my time in the Army, hey, at least what it is to be in the military, or at least in the Army, um, in the infantry world, for those that would be interested in that. But I've been making my transition into the civilian world. I've been a civilian for just over a month now, and I think it's going to give me more opportunities to be able to put out some more interesting content, and I have some interesting projects planned that I want to get to as soon as the holidays are over. But I've uh, started working at a gun shop, gun range. We've got a black rifle coffee shop inside, full autos, gun sales, you name it. I don't like to stay and, here And uh, I just want to share some clips you might enjoy from our there, recent there Christmas party. So for those interested, uh, give some basic feedback real quick. The SCAR Mark 17 7.62 NATO on full auto is a disaster. It is like, it's cool, but it's not enjoyable, like not even a little bit and not easy to control. Uh, this is actually my AR pistol upper on our M4 lower. Uh, definitely controllable, obviously gets hot really quick. M249 saw, we got a Mark 46 feed tray in there. It makes it real easy to load that like you just saw me there. Um, it's kind of restoring my faith in humanity when it comes to the saw because, you know, imagine that, a saw in good working order uh, that's not dragged through the veg and dropped all the time. It actually works. Uh, this is my baby girl here, M240 Bravo. Absolutely love it. It's basically an upside down belt fed 1918 BAR. So we got some John Moses Browning in there and uh, absolutely love it. It's what I carry dismounted in Afghanistan. And that is just, it's a tank. Now we have this, uh, I forgot who made it. It's an HK derivative 556. And when you start shooting it, because it had no muzzle device, it's like the Willy Wonka boat ride. It's just until it's over and you don't know what is going on. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, feedback here, some of the clips. I do have some projects scheduled. My first project is going to be the Black Bess Musket Project. And there's going to be some more news on that. Yes, uh, I do have a podcast coming down on the Virginia situation. Um, that's where I went to school. I spent four years of my life out there. And I've got quite a lot to say about the situation in Virginia. So don't think that uh, I'm not tracking but anyway, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.